Hey, what's up guys, it's Seth from Workbench, and this week we're gonna take a look at creating a shadow catcher in Cinema 4D. Today we're gonna to go through creating two setups to create shadow catchers, one in Redshift and one in Cinema 4D. Now, if you're not familiar, a shadow catcher is essentially that. It's just a plane that's transparent that catches shadows so that when you composite, you have a shadow underneath your object. So let's take this simple scene and show you how it's created. I have a light um, and I'm using the target to target this cube here. And I have a plane and currently the plane is just black. So in previous versions of Cinema, before R18, this was a really laborious task. There was a bunch of different ways to do it, and some of them still work. But in R18, they introduced a shadow catcher shader that makes this process super easy. So if you're not familiar with it, you go into Create, and then under Shader here, you're just going to go down to Shadow Catcher. And then in here, this material is really simple. It has Catch Shadows and catch reflections. Now the only thing about this is that it does not respect your shadow colors out of your lights. So if you have a specific shadow color that you're messing with, you want to change the color here or conversely change it in your composite. So then you basically just take this and apply it to your object like so. And then if we render that out in picture viewer here, so it doesn't look like much in the color, but if you go to the alpha channel, you can see we have our alpha with a shadow. Cool thing about this thing is that it also lets you do reflections. So if we render this out again, you'll have a reflection in your alpha as well. And there's your reflection in the color. So it's really simple to use. Well, that's how you do it in straight cinema. Let me show you how you do this in Redshift. So I'm going to hop into another scene here. So in this scene, we started off the same way as we did before. We got a cube and a plane and we have an area light. This is a Redshift area light and it's pointing with the target, I'm targeting this cube. So just like in straight cinema, you're gonna create a material. And in this case, you're just gonna create a basic material. So you go to Redshift Materials, just a regular material. And then in here, we're going to get rid of the Redshift material. And then we're going to create a shadow catcher, which is in Legacy. And it's a matte shadow catcher. I'm gonna apply that to there. And I'm gonna drop this on here. And I'm gonna open up the IPR so you can see what's going on. So there's our render. And if we look at our alpha, there's our alpha. So if we take a look at the shadow catcher here, there's a few settings. You got your diffuse here, which you wanna turn on. You got your background environment. You have catch shadows, which if you turn off, obviously, it stops catching the shadows. That's the whole point. And then in here as well, it has catch reflections which just like in cinema, just like in standard cinema. And then you also have ambient occlusion. Essentially, it's going to do the ambient occlusion where the two objects are touching. And that's it. Not a difficult setup, but it's incredibly useful. So for this week's thumbnail, I use the same techniques that I did in the two examples. The only difference is I created a dome light and then inside our dome light, I added a background backplate image. And then I did a quick camera calibration with the camera calibration tool. And that's it. I'll pop up a quick render so you can see it. So you can see the shadow catcher is doing what it's supposed to. It's giving us shadows, giving the impression that these objects are sitting on this surface. So that's about it for this week. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, leave in the comments down below. If you'd like to help support what we do, go to patreon.com forward slash workbench and check out the blog at workbench.tv. As always, I'm Sev, and we will see you soon. Bye.